Before we discuss the best combos in the current meta, let's first take a look at which combos did well in the year 2024. Let's take the time to recognize and appreciate the best performing combos from January to December. I did a 2023 edition and I want to make it an annual thing so that we can understand how the meta has evolved each year. I have gathered over 15,000 battles for this edition of Statistics and Analytics, which equates for over 30,000 combos overall. The data gathered here came from all over the world and if you are curious about my sources, links are in the video description for your reference. Metas vary depending on the community, so my goal is to have a representation for each region. You might see here some combos that may not be popular or successful in your area, but understand that it is actually doing good somewhere else. Let me start with some parts statistics of 2024. The most used blade is Wizard Rod followed by Phoenix Wing and then Grand Buster. I believe this is not a surprise to anyone, so to make it more interesting, here's the list of the top 10. Take note that those that were released later in the year like Cobalt Dragoon won't have much compared to those that were released earlier. I'm sure this will change in my next update. Looking further back to 2023, things were completely different. I'm predicting that 2025 will be the year of the CX line since we have just proven how the UX line have dominated the BX line a year later. The most used beats for 2024 is Ball, with Rush taking 2nd place and Point at 3rd. Expanding it to top 10 gives us this list. We just saw how blades have changed in each year but the Ball is still the king in terms of usage rate. Point has become the choice for a balanced beat while Rush is now the option for aggressive builds. The most used ratchets for 2024 is 960, followed by 360 and 560. 160 was on the rise and made it to fourth after discovering its point saving capability. Comparing it to 2023, there wasn't enough options that time and 960 was just released. By the way, the 2023 snapshots that I'm showing are the same photos I used on my 2023 edition of Statistics and Analytics. I find it interesting seeing and comparing the two years and I hope that it's the same for you as well. For our first statistical category, we go on with the top 10 combos in win rate. Take note that I have filtered out my gathered data so that only those combos having at least 31 battles will be considered. This is done to make our list more consistent since combos having less data are less accurate. At number 10, we have Hellside 360 Ball with 59.23% win rate in 130 battles. Hellside was the king of stamina until Wizard Rod took over around April. We don't see this combo that much anymore but it certainly was one of the best. At number 9, we have Hell's Chain 560 Orb with 59.85% win rate in 137 battles. If you want a true defense combo, this is what you are looking for. The smooth blade of Hell's Chain helps it parry attacks while Orb as its beat makes it better than needle type beats due to it having better stamina. At 8th place, we have Night Shield 560 Rush with 60.40% win rate in 149 battles. Night Shield is another defense blade that was successful before the heavyweights arrived. The blade has good stamina while Rush provided some dodging abilities and occasional knockouts. 7th, we have Hell's Chain 560 Point with 62.07% win rate in 87 battles. This build was not as popular as the others during its time but the stats show that it can consistently win. This is perhaps the most underrated combo in this list. Number 6, we have Aero Pegasus 960 Orb with 64.94% win rate in 77 battles. Only few people have Aero Pegasus since it is a rare bay but this combo have dominated a good portion of the year. It can outlast anything except for Wizard Rod and it is also a good counter-attacking build. Fifth, we have Tyranobit 160 Rush with 65.79% win rate in 152 battles. It's amazing how this combo reached the top 5, though it might not have the same win rate in the current meta, but it had a good run in 2024. At fourth place, we have Wizard Rod 360 level with 67.71% win rate in 96 battles. This Wizard Rod combo started to become popular by the end of the year. This became the option for those people who didn't want to use the stamina build. 
Its only weakness is itself, which is our third best combo in this list. Wizard Rod on Ball with 68% win rate in 1,619 battles. This combo has dominated the year of 2024. It was so dominating that we got a lot of mirror matches, which caused its win rate to go down a bit. If we'll remove the mirror matches from the gathered data, its win rate would be much more. Also, if I didn't group the Wizard Rod on Ball combos together, it will take so much spots on our list. Here is the win rates for each Ratchet variant. At second place, we have Air Pegasus 960 Rush with 70.83% win rate in 48 battles. We only have 48 battles collected for this combo since few people own Aero Pegasus. The small sample size might have helped it boost to the second spot. We'll see how this will normalize as we gather more data on it. At the number 1 spot, we have Wizard Rod 960 Hexa with 75% win rate in 120 battles. Wizard Rod on Ball is more popular but this build actually has the better win rate. The reason why most people don't prefer this over the ball build is because of its higher points per loss of almost 2 every match. We'll also have a list for the best points per loss combos later in the video. Let us now compare the two years that have passed. On the left is 2024's list of best combos in win rates while on the right is for the year 2023. I suggest you to pause the video so that you can get a better look before we proceed to the next category. Points per win is the total scored points over the total number of battles within that same span. It is basically the average point that a combo scores every time it wins. The higher points per win means the combo has the higher chance of knocking out or bursting the opponents. At number 10, we have Phoenix Wing 960 gear point with 2 points per win. Another uncommon build but the stats are showing that this combo is winning with 2 points for most of the time. Ninth, we have Phoenix Wing 360 Taper with 2 points per win. This combo was actually the first iteration of a competitive Phoenix Wing before point and rush builds took over. Eighth, we have Dran Buster 160 Hexa with 2 points per win. This is the first Dran Buster on the list and it's a counter attack build that uses Hexa. We'll see later on how Dran Buster has dominated this category. Seventh, we have Dran Dagger 560 Rush with 2 points per win. This is arguably the best Dran Dagger combo aside from the point build. For a brief moment in 2024, this was the go-to option for attack type until Phoenix Wing and Dran Buster became the staple. At number 6, we have Dran Buster 160 Taper with 2 points per win. The second Dran Buster combo on the list but this time it is on the Taper beat. The 10th to 6th spot are actually tied at 2 points per win so you can't really go wrong with any of them. At number 5, we have Dran Buster 160 Rush with 2.024 points per win. Another Dran Buster in the list which means another reason for Dran Buster fans to love this points per win category. There are actually two variants of it in the top 10 so I consider them as one in order to save a slot for another combo. At 4th place, we have Shark Ed's 360 low flat with 2.034 points per win. This proves that the stock combo can be viable competitively. This combo may no longer be viable as of today but I won't be surprised if there will be another stock combo that will take its place. Third, we have Dran Buster 460 flat with 2.037 points per win. Another variant of it is using 160 which is also in the top 10. I grouped together this flat version in order to have an extra spot in the top 10. At second place, we have Whale Wave 960 flat with 2.061 points per win. If the shark can make it, so does the whale. Being one of the heaviest blade just gives it an advantage of knocking out and bursting its opponents. At the top spot, we have Grand Buster 160 low flat with 2.121 points per win. We've probably seen almost every possible builds of Dran Buster in this list and the low flat version takes the top spot. Not only that, the 560 low flat version is also in the top 10. Again, let's compare the previous two years. On the left is 2024's list of best combos in points per win, while on the right is for the year 2023. I suggest you to pause the video so that you can get a better look before we proceed to the next category. Wizard Rod may have dominated the win rate category, but the points per win is Dranbuster's territory. 
and after revealing the best scorers, we now move on to the best combos in denying points to your opponent. This time, it's the points per loss category and we are looking for combos that have the least PPL. At the 10th spot, we have Hell's Chain 960 Orb with 1.462 points per loss. If you like defense type combos, you probably are familiar with this one. Reaching the top 10 points per loss proves that it is a viable option competitively. At number 9, we have Grandbuster 160 Low Flat with 1.459 points per loss. This combo is at the top of the points per win and it also reached the top 10 points per loss. What's holding this back to being the best combo is the low win rate. 8th, we have Grandbuster 160 Taper with 1.444 points per loss. This combo is in the same situation as the previous Grandbuster. Most attack type combos lose via spin finish, so most of them have PPL close to 1 point. You just need to avoid cell KO if you like to use aggressive combos. At number 7, we have Tyranno Beat 160 Rush with 1.385 points per loss. Another attack type combo and another one that uses the 160 Ratchet. For those who are not yet familiar with this Ratchet, it is mainly used for its pocket escaping abilities. So instead of losing 2 points, it can save a point for you. At 6th place, we have Tyranobit 360 Low Flat with 1.367 points per loss. Tyranobit in general is considered as one of the top blades. If you are looking for a combo to try on, then this could be what you are searching for. At number 5, we have Leon Crest 760 Hexa with 1.361 points per loss. It's good to see a defense type making it into the list. With its bulky build, this combo can be easily thrown out of the stadium, which is why it has a low points per loss. At 4th, we have Cobalt Dragoon 560 point with 1.357 points per loss. Before Elevate became the staple beat for Cobalt Dragoon, point was the first choice. Since this is a left spin blade, it mostly parries or absorbs attacks from the right spin combos, making it hard to KO. Third, we have Grandbuster 460 flat with 1.351 points per loss. This combo is third in both PPW and PPL, which further proves that if you are able to control your launch and avoid self KOs, attack types can be a low risk, high reward option. At second place, we have Grandbuster 160 Rush with 1.333 points per loss. This is the fourth Grandbuster and the fourth combo with the 160 Ratchet in the list. It's a testament of how good these parts are in terms of points per loss. At first place, we have Phoenix Wing 160 Rush with 1.301 points per loss. Having the lowest points per loss proves that this combo is less risky to use. Then with a good win rate coupled with a good points per win, this combo have dominated the 2024 meta. It is commonly used in tournaments and it is backed up by stats, that's why it is a favorite choice. I don't have the list for 2023's best points per loss combo since I haven't introduced this stat line yet during that time. We will revisit this category later on when we compare the year 2025. Now that you have learned the 3 major stats in Beyblade decks, we now proceed to the Efficiency category which is basically the union of the 3 stats. Efficiency is calculated by the combo's points per win multiplied by its win rate minus the product of its points per loss and losing rate. A positive result means the combo has a good chance of gaining points, while a negative result means that you are most likely to lose points if you use this combo. At the 10th spot, we have Wizard Rod 360 Ball with 31.13 efficiency. We all know that this combo has played the meta. It is safe to use, and if you know how to launch it properly, it can be the most efficient combo. At number 9, we have Cobalt Dragoon 560 Point with 34.85 efficiency. Cobalt Dragoon was already good with point, and the Elevate beat might have made it even better. You won't see the Elevate build in this edition because it was by the end of 2024 and the beginning of 2025 that it started to become popular. At number 8, we have Aero Pegasus 960 Orb with 35.06 efficiency. Only few people owns Aero Pegasus during 2024, but with the few times that it showed up, this combo was one of the successful builds. At 7th place, we have Phoenix Wing 160 Rush with 36.23 efficiency. I already mentioned how good this combo is. It seems that a more balanced stat line is the key to success. 
At 6th place, we have Grandmaster 160 flat with 47.30 efficiency. The thing with attack types is that its efficiency is highly dependent on the player's launching skills. This combo can be efficient at number 6 but it can also be at a negative efficiency if you don't know how to use it. Fifth, we have Grandmaster 160 Rush with 47.44 efficiency. Again, this combo looks really good but it can also be inefficiently bad if you don't have enough practice on it. At number 4, we have Wizard Rod 360 level with 53.13 efficiency. This is perhaps the best balance type combo at the moment. The high stamina of Wizard Rod when paired with the wide base speed of level makes it outspin any attack types and at the same time has the potential to KO stamina types. At number 3, we have Wizard Rod 960 Hexa with 53.33 efficiency. Ball makes Wizard Rod a safe choice but Hexa build is slightly better based on our gathered data. In the end, it all boils down to the player's preference. Second, we have Tyranno Beat 160 Rush with 59.87 efficiency. The 160 Ratchet has helped this combo become more efficient because it provides a safety net on being more aggressive. Since Tyranno Beat and Rush have decent stamina, this pushed the combo to the second spot. In first place, we have Aero Pegasus 960 Rush with 72.92 efficiency. For me, Aero Pegasus is like an upgraded version of Phoenix Wing in terms of what they do. It is an attack type with decent stamina but with better width. If it wasn't a rare blade and instead was easily available to everyone, it would probably dominate the stat lines. I also don't have the efficiency list of 2023, but it sure is interesting to see later in the year how these compare when CX parts are already in the mix. One important thing to take note of the stats that I have shown you is that I filtered them out by setting it to a minimum of 31 battles. This is to ensure that there was enough sample size for the combos that came out after filtering the data. Newer parts or combos might not have appeared yet, but they would probably show up in the next update once enough data is collected. Keep in mind that we can quantify any parts or combos, but we can never compute for a player's skill level. With that said, the numbers you saw here can still go up and it can also go down when you factor in your skill level. The data that I have gathered came from different communities and different players because the goal is to have a baseline for an average skill player. So use it to compare your own personal results. Competitive Beyblade X is all about your skills and the tools you use to become successful. Your combos are your tools for success. Competitive players will always bring the best possible combos to win. So it should never be an issue if you will always see the same parts or combos in a highly competitive tournament. I hope you enjoyed this kind of video so please hit the like button and leave a comment for engagement. Subscribe if you haven't yet and consider becoming a channel member as a token of your support. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video.